So we're here at the SID Display Week in the high. So who are you? Eric Miller from Europe Tech USA. So located. what is uh, Europe Tech? Uh, it's a Swiss-based company. Um, the Europe Tech side is the technical glass side of Glass Trosh, which is uh, known for AR coatings and... and um, like coatings? Like, uh, what does it say here? Glossy... It's a, so Eagle Edge is what we do in, in the United States. We actually uh, chemically etch glass to get the uh, surface structure here that you see on the Eagle Etch AG glass. So um, what is that? What is the difference between this and something else? The, the main advantage to um, the structured AG glass that we provide uh, is ergonomics. So it helps, um, it, it allows the, the person viewing the display to be able to focus more on the display than some of the reflections that are coming back from, we'll say, a glossy display. So that's the big push is etched versus glossy to help with, uh, help with readability and reduce eye strain. So it's like mo matte mm -hmm. is yes. instead of glossy? Yes, exactly. But is your type of matte? Yes. Yeah, um, it's, it's, a, it's a proprietary process that we yeah. use to, to, achieve the, to achieve the AG. Um, so what are all these that we're looking at right here? So in our facility, as well as making the large sheets of etch glass, we also fabricate. So we cut. We do special edge work. We can print the glass, chemically strengthen the glass, and get it ready for touch companies and, uh, and assembly companies, things like that. All right. So uh, this is all stuff that goes on displays? Yeah. Just only for that? We're anywhere from automotive, if you look over the display. Yeah. So we have automotive displays that are done through, uh, actually, the Swiss division is the vehicle display group. We'll send our large sheets of anti-glare glass over to them, and then they process it for uh, BMW and other other car companies there. So we have over seven million cars on the road today with our anti-glare glass that comes from yes, that comes from the United States. So there's lots of big car companies that just use those by default in the car, right? Mm -hmm. Or it could be added later, or not really. I uh, no, it's it's always done normally in the in the beginning process. Yes. And, and here you're showing. Uh, this is the differences between our anti-glare. This is a 70 gloss versus a competitor's 100 gloss. Typically, 100 gloss would have much better resolution. Just to show you what our process does and our surface structure, you get a much better resolution at a lower gloss level. At a lower gloss. Mm -hmm. So, so is there some visibility lost when you do this matte layer? It, it there is. It depends. There's a trade-off always. Um, you do like you can notice here. Uh, there's a little bit of visibility lost with direct light, but it does diffuse the light. So you don't see the, the actual reflection of the light. You get you get it diffused, so you can you can focus more on the display itself. So right now I'm uh, I can see my light on my head, and over here it, it's just different. Okay. Over here it's pretty much like a mirror, yep. and here it's uh, not. Yes. All right. So millions and millions of screens have this in the world. Yes, we're like, anywhere from ATMs to point of sale, automotive. Military, marine, avionics, almost every industry that will have an LCD and would need a, a cover glass on front of that. We're in almost every industry you could think of. Laptops? Because um, when I get a laptop, I always want to get a matte one. Yes, no, we, we are not. not. <laughs> so what uh, do they do? There's they a couple of different it's just, way of um, doing it? Normally with them, they'll, they'll only use a clear glass. Um, a lot of times with, uh, with portable devices, so laptops, mobile phones, uh, and notebooks, a lot of times it comes down to pricing because those are those move so fast they want to keep the pricing as low as they can so they'll just stay with like a clear glass um yeah you, there are trade-offs of course with doing that and you fingerprints and it, it gets dirty very fast and it's it's not always easy to clean so an anti-glare surface hides fingerprints hides small scratches it's very easy to keep clean um and like i said before it helps with uh, ergonomics as far as being able to see the display and focus on the display itself.